Hi everyone! Today we've got a ton of interesting and practical life hacks for you. Get comfy and let's dive in! Let's start with plastic wrap. Do you often struggle to find the end of the wrap? Here's a solution for you. Wet your hand slightly with water and with this damp hand it's now super easy to separate the end. Next up, I'm going to show you a viral life hack with a blender. If you don't have a food grinder and need to grind something, use a blender. Pour nuts or pepper or coffee, well, anything to the blender. Cover it with film and turn it on. A few seconds and your coffee is ready for brewing. Enjoy! Now you'll be shocked! I'll show you how to split this whole chicken into meat and bones in just a few minutes and my hands will stay clean. For this, I'll need a sturdy Ziploc bag. Put the chicken in it and start massaging it. The meat separates from the bones on its own. All that's left for you is to remove the bones. In mere minutes, with just a Ziploc bag and a simple massage, we've effortlessly separated chicken meat from the bones, keeping our hands clean and making meal prep astonishingly easy. Moving on to a more fun life hack. Struggle when you're sifting flour? Not a problem anymore. Give the flour a massage. This is how it works on me. And this is how it effortlessly works on the flour. Now I'll show you how to easily make a tasty snack for tea. First, take four cups and place them upside down on your kitchen counter. On top of these cups, set an own rack to create a makeshift support. Now grab a sheet of parchment paper with a sheet of puff pastry on it and lay them across the oven rack. Next, you'll need a kitchen board. Using the edge of the board, press down into the pastry to create indentations between the wires of the rack. These indentations will form the pockets for our filling. It's Nutella time! Open your jar of Nutella and pour it into the indentations you've just created on the puff pastry. Be generous with the filling for that gooey, chocolatey goodness in every bite. Cover the Nutella-filled pastry with another layer of puff pastry. Then take another sheet of parchment paper and place it over the top layer of pastry. Now gently press down on this stack with a flat but not too heavy object, like a baking dish. Bake according to your puff pastry's package instructions or until golden brown and delicious. Once baked, let it cool slightly, then slice your Nutella pastry into sticks and enjoy! Do you know the secret to making your bacon perfectly crispy and delicious? It's in a flour. Add your favorite spices to the flour. In my case, it's dried garlic, smoked paprika and coriander. Lay out the bacon on a tray and generously sprinkle it with the mixture on both sides. Now bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes on convection mode and voila! Crispy and super tasty bacon is ready! And if you've bought a lot of bacon, here's how to store it efficiently. You'll need a sheet of parchment paper. Lay out the bacon on it, ensuring they don't overlap. Then roll the parchment paper and cut between slices of bacon. 
This method allows you to easily separate individual pieces later, without them sticking together. Next, place everything in a Ziploc bag and store it in the freezer. Ever hesitated to use your blender thinking about the cleanup afterward? I've been there, but there's a neat trick I've discovered. First, slot the blade into the blender. Just pour a bit of dish soap into the bowl, followed by some water. Cover it up and give it a blend for about 15 to 30 seconds. And there you have it. Remarkably tidy. After blending with dish soap, a quick rinse under the top leaves the blade and bowl looking almost new. No more tedious scrubbing. Your blender is ready for its next use with minimal fuss. Need to quickly chop spaghetti? Here's a life hack for you. Wrap the required amount of spaghetti in a towel and pull it against the edge of a table. Just like that. In 3 seconds I've chopped all the spaghetti. This is a typical way everyone squeezes juice out of a lemon. Doing it this way, I managed to get 47 grams. But if you want to increase that yield, try slicing the lemon like this and squeeze each segment separately. By doing so, I managed to extract almost double the amount, a full 84 grams. Nobody believes, but it really works. Do you need to defrost meat quickly? Here's the trick. Take a bowl, fill it with water, add salt and stir. Immerse the meat in the water. In just about 12 to 15 minutes, your meat will be defrosted and ready to cook. After enjoying some eggs, don't discard the shells. Instead, rinse and boil them for a few minutes to sterilize. Then, drain and dry thoroughly using a towel. Next, we'll crush these clean, dry shells into a fine powder using a blender. This powder is a fantastic source of calcium, perfect for sprinkling over your plant soil or mixing into your pet's food. What do you do with grease after frying? Did you know that if you pour it down the sink, you'll clog the pipes? Here's a solution. Take a bowl, line it with several layers of foil and pour the grease into it. Leave it for a few hours to solidify. Now just fold it and throw it in the trash. Did you know that you can cook eggs in the oven instead of water? I just take an egg tray and place it in the oven for half an hour. Then I cool them in cold water to make peeling easier. The eggs turn out perfect this way. Now let's look at a few cool garlic life hacks. First, an easy way to peel a lot of garlic quickly. 
cut off the bottom of the bulb and microwave it for 30 seconds. Now the gloves pop out of their skins effortlessly. And here's another viral life hack from TikTok. If you've spilled some sauce on the table, you can easily clean it up using any board and a piece of parchment paper. Look how easy it is! Here I'm waiting for your like if this life hack impressed you. Paper towels are indispensable lie in the kitchen, especially for dealing with a grimy grill. Here's a neat trick. Soak a few towels in water and lay them over the grill. Then close the grill and turn it on for a few minutes. The heat and steam combine to loosen the grease and dirt, which the moist towels will readily absorb, making your cleaning task significantly easier. Love pancakes? Here's a simple life hack for flipping them without a spatula. Simply use a toothpick to hook and flip the pancake. Check out this cool life hack. To spread cream cheese, for example in tartlets, it's better to use the back side of a spoon. Then nothing sticks to the spoon and it always stays clean. Often, when people use these types of gloves for washing dishes, they do it incorrectly. Yo, man, what are you doing? If you have to raise your arm while washing, dirt and water will flow down onto your hand and your clothes. To prevent this, perform a very simple action. Fold the cuff of the glove to create a pocket. Now, when you raise your arm, the water will be caught in the pocket and won't reach your hand. Annoyed by peeling of stickers? It's easy to solve. Just heat the sticker on the stove. The glue will soften and it will peel off very easily. Here's a genius life hack. When you're almost out of ketchup in a bottle, many people try to heat the bottle or tap it. That's totally wrong. Watch this. Simply step back a bit from the table and spin it like this. Brilliant! All the ketchup is now near the cap. By the way, this works with anything like cream or shower gel. Don't like that honey sticks to the spoon? Here's a simple life hack. Dip the spoon in vegetable oil. Just like that. All the honey now quickly drips off the spoon. Need to quickly peel a roasted eggplant? This life hack is for you. Wrap it in plastic wrap, cut off the tip and simply squeeze out the flesh with your hands. Look at that! Only the skin is left. In my kitchen, the air fryer is a frequently used tool, but this means it often requires cleaning. I'm going to show you the best and easiest way to clean it. Here's what you'll need. Dish detergent, baking soda, vinegar and water. Combine these everyday kitchen staples in a bowl.
Once you've got your mixture ready, place it inside the air fryer and set the timer for 10 to 15 minutes. This combination works wonders in loosening grime and grease. After the time is up, carefully remove the bowl and pour out the solution. The final step is a gentle but thorough wipe down using a sponge under running water. This process not only cleans but also deodorizes your air fryer, leaving it sparkling and fresh. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share it on your social media.